What is chemistry? Well, let me explain it for you. F is for fluorine, that is the most electronegative. U is for uranium. N is for nitrogen that fills up the atmosphere over here in the chemistry lab. I is for iodine that stains your hands. O is for oxygen. Uh, <laughs> N is for sodium. That's not what N stands for. Do it like this. C is for carbon that destroys the environment. No, that's not how it goes. C is for carbon that's in all living things. H E is for helium. Try it. M G is for magnesium that's found everywhere down here in the deep blue sea. Wait, I don't understand this. It's all about chemistry. Should we stop? No, chemistry is all about fun. Well, I like it. Let's try it again. G is for gallium that melts in your hand. S is for sulfur found in volcanoes. Gas is found in soda, the sky and the sea, here in the chemistry lab. Here's some other ways how chemistry can be fun. All right, now we're going to be mixing baking soda and vinegar. Oh, I added too much. <laughs> now we're putting alka seltzer in water. <laughs> Ready? Mm -hmm. I don't even know what's supposed to happen. Sugar and Diet Coke. Watch what happens. Hey. Let's <laughs> see what happens when you put the Mentos in. I know, I have the Mentos inside. <laughs> yeah, I just know I need one sugar. Yeah. Well, I have five more packets if you want them. <laughs> <laughs> we can keep going. We can make a little display. Now? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to add Mentos to Coke and see what happens. Ready? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> oh, it is. Let's see if we add another one. Nothing much. <laughs> I guess it's stopped. Remember, I'm 21. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shake up this can and see what happens when the gas is released from the liquid. When I open the top. It doesn't feel like it's shaking. <laughs> now, mm -hmm. all right. I'm gonna show you guys a neat little chemistry trick to do that. All you need is materials are really simple. All right, you're gonna take an empty can of soda, and you're gonna fill it up just a little bit so there's enough water covering the bottom. No, just a little more. Yeah, that should about do it. All right, then you're just gonna put it on the stove, light it. And then we'll come back to that in a little bit. All right, let me explain a few of the mechanics behind this trick really quick. What's happening is you have about a tablespoon of water in there, and we're heating that so through vaporization, all the water is going to be gone out of the can. And once that's done, we're going to wait about a minute, then we're going to flip this can over into this pot of ice water. And the little bit of water steam that's in there is eventually just going to turn right back into the liquid water, and the pressure on the inside of the can will be much less than the outside, causing the can to implode. All right, go. What is fun? Let me, let me spell it for you. Chlorine who, oh God, this is not working. Please, and what is chemistry? What is, Sorry, oh yeah. I messed up on What is chemistry? Go for it. All right.
right, now we're mixing baking soda and vinegar. Is that all that was supposed to happen? Wait, this is a lame ass reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do Should I keep it going? I thought something good was. Okay, we have that scoopula thing. Oh, it's over Scalpula. there. Scalpula. Scalp scoopula. Scalp. Is this the right? Wow. This is the right stuff, though.